Welcome everyone to another FridayFacePaint.com tutorial with Pam Kinneberg and today we're going to paint another Halloween design called Frankenpatch. Just a little twist on um, Pumpkin Patch with Frankenstein. I'm going to start out with the Sundown Cake and the Lime Green and I'm double loading my craze sponge with green on one side and the orange and the yellow from the sundown cake on the other side of my sponge. This just speeds things up. I'm just going to make like a tall rectangle of green in the middle. And then on the sides, I'm going to uh, put the background for my pumpkins with the orange on the outer edges and uh, using the back of my sponge just to blend them together. Now that I have my background done, we will um, go and use the Craze Dragon Dance cake with a half inch flat brush from Art Factory. And I'm gonna pick up the three middle colors with just a little bit of that dark blue on the edge of my brush. So I'm getting most of the greens and the dark blue. And then I'm just gonna go in and sort of make um, those ridges where a pumpkin um, has those ridges so we get some um, shadowing in there and uh, dimension and I'll do the bottom just in little curved segments like that and then also do the same to the top and just add just um, a slight hint of those divisions like a pumpkin would have then don't forget to add the ears to the sides of your green pumpkin. And then I'm going to take the Craze Metallic Silver and a number one round brush from Craze and paint those um, little bolt things that Frankenstein always has on the sides of his face and get those in there so later I can do my black outline all at once. I'm going to use the, the black from this one stroke. It just uh, speeds up the process if you're using um, the least amount of um, supplies as you can. And I'm going to first paint in where the hair at the top goes. He has sort of that square um, top to his head. So I paint in that top part and then I just bring down the, the little um, pieces of hair that fall out of that. Um, making sure that I bring some down right where those folds or those um, cracks or um, divisions in the pumpkin are just to emphasize that it's a pumpkin and always just put that little um, handle or that little stem at the top and then go ahead and outline a few of the other areas quickly around his face give his ears some definition and um, outline uh, give some definition to those little bolt things, screws, or whatever they are. Uh, make them come to life. And um, I also I'm going to paint that little uh, crack or the split that he has on the top of his head. Add some little stitch marks. Next you will paint where the uh, eyes will go. Kind of a little furrowed brow there and a crooked mouth. Um, have some fun with this area. I'm just going to paint in where the eyes are. I'm going to come back in later with white to fill those in, but if you were um, really short on time, you could just leave it like that. I have like a, um, a very damp brush and I'm bringing out some of that black from the bottom of his eye there just to give him a really dark area underneath his eyes, but not super, super um, opaque. Just trying to um, draw down that that black finish off uh, the top of his head and now I'm going to draw in where some teeth will go you could make them all funky and crooked different sizes and just add a few little uh, flicks around to give um, sort of those uh, creases to his face to make him look a little scary the next thing I'm going to just very simply put in the lines for these side pumpkins. I'm not going to add a lot of detail here. And uh, I'll just do both sides. This just um, gives these pumpkins over here some definition. And then I'm going to come in with my white and paint the eyes, give it uh, those little highlights 
paint in the teeth, and then just paint in any sort of highlights that you want on his face and his hair. It gives it um, some contrast and makes it kind of come to life. Just where the light would be shining on it. And also those side pumpkin skin have a little bit of white highlights also. Next I'm mixing the pink and orange to get a red color from that cake. Again, just limiting the supplies I'm using so it goes quicker and I just add that around the bottom of the eyes to make it a little scarier, bottoms of the teeth and where those screws are. Then finally I take this um, uh, little web um, stencil and I'm gonna lightly uh, put some black webs in there and these are going to be asymmetrical um, just to kind of give a little bit of a um, different look to this so it's not all very it's not all so symmetrical and there you have it you can stop with that but I also have um, another option that you can do um, if you take uh, your finger when it's wet um, just a little damp finger and just smear out this these um, black areas in here just to give it a little bit of a messy sort of um, scary feel by doing this and um, just uh, pretty easy and quick to do this in the end and so there you have it the Franken patch and uh, a really fun uh, design for Halloween you can add some little dots for little eyes in there if you wish so everyone happy painting Thanks for watching.